This is Urdizzle back with the sixth and final video in my 12 course all kill run through. And we're gonna finish things off with Coyote Canyon and Cahoe Backwoods. The previous two courses, Alwood and Cahoe Park, I think were the two hardest ones. So these, although they're the newest ones, are a little bit easier than those last two. So we're gonna start things off course 11. Again, we're about 45 minutes in to this video. So if you watched the last video, you saw my my focus waning a little bit and I made some, some silly errors. Also had some really nice shots. The par four on Cahill Park through the trees was kind of a nice touch after a unexpected bogey. So hole one, just throwing through the arch, rock arch there. I throw my accurate windbreak musket, pretty, pretty standard stuff. You can throw a river if you've got a tailwind, but not too bad. Hole two, I've got a favorable win here of two. So I'm gonna go up over the top with a light glide ballista pro. And just get it up and skip. Oh, that's perfect. They'll be right in the middle. And in one of my daily videos, I set myself up right about here in the 230 to 250 range. I'm going to throw my river. The river has a turn right out of the hand, and then it's straight as an arrow. So we're going to run this one. And that's going in. Get it. Get it. Yes! All right. Not going to lie. I did not think I was going to get that one because that bush was in the way. But that's why I throw the river. Absolutely love it. All right, hole three, we are not gonna do anything crazy. I'm gonna throw my accurate glide musket out to the right here, swing it around that rock formation right there. That's perfect. If you can get inside 300, should be able to give it a decent run. Perfect, 297. So I'll throw my, my musket, my accurate windbreak musket. We'll give it a run with a tailwind of two. That might actually be too much. Oh boy, that was actually the right height. I know that didn't look like it was going in, but it was, Pretty, pretty good shot stuck up in here. That's no problem. So I've got the, got the eagle. Normally I get an eagle on this one if I'm really trying to get a good score on this, but we'll take the, the eagle on two and the birdie on three. All right, hole four, always, always, always throwing the accurate discs. Sometimes I throw accurate windbreak. Sometimes I throw accurate glide, but I don't think I ever throw anything other than a musket on that hole because it's just, it's perfect for hitting the gap. Gives me a pretty easy birdie putt every time. I don't really get any ace runs, but I'm not trying to ace it. I'm just trying to birdie it. Hole five, however, I am definitely trying to eagle this one, and that is a pretty favorable wind. Right to left, tailwind of three, so we're going to throw the... Oh, miss the rock. Whew. The glide skip ballista pro and skip. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Give me a shot at it. And it kicked away from it. So 39 feet, I can actually putt this one. I'm going to aim a little higher. Let's hope the wind doesn't blow it out. Yes. All right, so this is a pretty damn good start. And I'm not really concerned with any of the holes coming up until we get to hole nine. So this, this could be a pretty good round. It's so hole six here. I aced this in a daily recently, but this one we're just gonna throw an accurate glide musket forehand, throw it down the hill, let it skip down. And as long as I'm within 50 feet, that's probably 40. 47. So as long as I'm within 50, I'm perfectly happy with that because I can putt it. And I do putt out to around 65 feet, but I prefer it being a little closer. This is another one, hole seven that I, so hole six and seven, I've aced this week. If you watch previous videos, so I'm not, obviously I'm not expecting that now. We're just going to throw the, the wind. Oh, get going, get going. All right, we're good the light glide ballista pro and just hyzer it and let it get over the water and we're good to go 32 feet this is this is looking like a pretty good round my record is an 11 under on this so if i can just go birdie birdie i've got it and hole eight is normally a river disc on this it usually gets across but i'm gonna go ahead and throw the wind accurate musket just i just don't want that wind to, to knock it down and end up in the the goalie there or the ravine so again, within 48 feet, easy putting. I probably putt more than most people do. I think a lot of people throw in more than they putt. And you notice I pretty much use the, the putt option as far as I possibly could. All right, there's been many rounds I've gotten close to an 11 under. And I actually have an 11 under, but then I end up screwing this hole up. And that is absolutely perfect. I could not place that disc any better with the ballista there. And so now, as long as I don't do anything stupid, I can just... I'm gonna throw my glide skip ballista pro and just hammer it up there, hammer it up there and hope it skips up. 
who knows, anything fluky happens and it kicks in the basket. Nope. I will absolutely take a 20-foot birdie putt, though, 25, any day of the week. So I've had some ups and downs during this 12-course run-through, but course 11, I just tied my course record on Coyote Canyon. So 11 under. Woot, woot. That is a great way to finish the 11th. So now if we can just not do anything stupid on the final course of the 12, KO Backwoods. And I have not played this a ton, but enough that I kind of know what I'm throwing on it. But most definitely not anywhere near as much as I've thrown the other courses. So hole one, I throw the light or the wind glide ballista on a forehand, and that's just beautiful. A lot of little trees in there, but I like I love my wind glide ballista. That's that's one of my most thrown discs. I bet if I if I could make a three disc bag, I'd probably have a musket, that disc, and my fuse, obviously. All right, hole two. Again, you just want to throw a nice big shot through here and miss the trees. Ideally, if you can skip through these trees and up the hill, that would be nice. But and now we're going to sit right there. So 239. I'm going to throw... Yeah, I'm just going to aim this kind of high and leave it a little short. I don't mind leaving it short, although that's a little shorter than I wanted. But f again, 47 feet. For me, that's just a putt. It's a putt with a tailwind, so I'm, I'm really not worried about missing that one. I would have liked that to go a little further, though. All right, hole three. This is probably the one that's the most sketchy for me. I know there's a wide right route, but I go left with my, my ballista here. And there's just a lot of little trees here. So ideally, you want to get it somewhere along that rock wall because if you cut it in too much, which that is actually cut in too... That was not a good shot. <laughs> You want to be wide left of that. You don't even want to bring those trees in. So now i got to do a throw in from 109. That's money. Cash money. I'm telling you, if you guys want to improve your game, learn to throw in from 100 to 130. It's just, it, it's able, like that was a really, really bad drive and it saved me. All right, so we are going to go the left route on this one because of the wind. I, I sometimes go the wide ride, wide right route. But with this wind, anything will work. So 402, I'm just going to go throw it up through here. And that actually is turning more than I wanted, but there's the road that will probably kick it. No, God, what was that? Man, that was not a good shot. So I should be I should be putting, and now I'm 82 with a cross tailwind. And, man, that's just, let's see if we can get this one. There we go. I got that one. I got that eagle, but I definitely should not have had that difficult a shot but the wide the wide right route off the tee is also an option all right this one the wind of two i'm gonna throw a musket through this gap and see if it has enough well that's got to skip though through the branches all right that'll work that should be 50 50 plus 57 yep again still in putting range i know i keep saying the same thing but get it within 60 65 and you are putting all right, this is a pretty good round, too. Um, these holes normally are pretty easy, but they can get a little sketchy with some of the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my ballista again, my wind glide. Missed that tree. I've actually ended up over, the few times i played this, I've en ended up to the right over in those bushes. Those kind of suck. Like, you can't really throw through it. You're about, they're usually about 60 feet away. And if you get behind them, you pretty much have no chance of, of doing anything. All right, this hole is sketchy. I'm going to throw my recoil here and put it on hyzer, but I like to skip it off that hill. That should work. And No, no, that was not good. Uh, I've, I've actually tweaked my approach on this. I, I'm going to start throwing. In pr I haven't practiced it a ton, but... That's garbage. So I'm going to end up with a bogey here. Um, I've actually started throwing skip discs because I don't want to throw a pioneer. Like, I'm not throwing any extra discs in the bag just for one or two holes. So that one, though, I I will probably practice. And I know people are going to comment on that, like, oh, hey, I use this and I use this. It's like, I've got some ideas. Like, I'll I'll figure it out. But that that is most likely going to be a skip disc. I think I can figure that out. All right, hole eight. That is the worst spot to be, right behind this bush. And so now I'm going to have to get a little creative, probably throw a forehand ballista here, and let's see if we can turn it over. Yep, and then it skips downhill. Let's see what range I'm in. It's not quite putting range, 82. 
But again, my throw-in game has been dialed in, and it still is. So that's three, three throw-ins from outside putting range. Again, that is the difference. Which leads us into hole nine. So this is a tricky hole. Obviously, 440, you want to eagle it, but there's a lot of trees in there. That is not a good shot. Yeah. So that's going to leave me way back here. I'm going to have to scramble. Boy, I don't know what to do here. Maybe throw it low under all this stuff. Just throw it hard and skip it. Don't want to go too far, though. Like that. Jeez. All right, we'll take it. That was, that was pretty lucky. So we'll take the birdie. So that was actually a pretty, pretty solid round. I had some sketchy shots, but I was able to pull them out. It's just that one bogey. Otherwise, I'd be sitting at a nice 10 under round, which I believe 10 under is my record. Or maybe, no, I think it's actually 11 under. But All right, so we finished off our 12-course run-through. Had some ups, had some downs. You got to see quite a variety of shots. Sunshine and Blueberry were pretty solid. I had that rough round on Oak Hill. Came back with a pretty decent round at Lakeside. Windswept, I had that Mando that I missed, which caused me to get a bogey there. Wasn't happy about that. But then immediately recovered and threw, tied my course record on Harrowing Woods, which let's be honest, that should have very easily been a minus 14. And I had a decent run going at Owlwood, but then I had that three headwind on hole seven that kind of threw me off and took a bogey on that one. And then Cahill Park, I made a couple of mistakes on that bogey hole hole four, but then came back and did that aggressive hole six and got the great eagle on that, which was, was a nice touch. And then I finished with a bang. I set my course record on Coyote with a nice throw in on hole two. And even the eight under on Keho Backwoods wasn't bad. I had just had that one hiccup hole. Otherwise, I would have had a 10 under without any grinding for eagles. So overall, finished with a minus 118, which, as I said in the very early videos, I was not trying to set any records, but I... I'll call it a victory because that was overall some pretty solid shooting. And at some point, I'll probably go back through and do another all-kill run and see if I can uh, set some sort of personal record. But again, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will be back with some uh, other videos, especially these last four courses coming up soon. Have a great day.